வெல்கம் டு ஜோ மேத் ஐ எம் ஜோதி லக்ஷ்மி மேக்ஸ் டியூட்டர் மை டியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் நீங்கள் நிறைய பேர் மேக்ஸ்னாலே ரொம்ப பயப்படுவீங்க டஃப்பாக ஃபீல் பண்ணுவீங்க எனக்கு புரியலைன்னு சொல்வீங்க ஸோ உங்களுடைய இந்த ப்ராப்ளம்க்குலாம் சொல்யூஷனாக தான் இந்த சேனலை நாங்கள் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் இந்த சேனலில் எஸ்பெஷலாக டென்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் தமிழ்நாடு ஸ்டேட் போர்ட் சிலபஸில் படிக்கிறவங்களுக்காகவே ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் இதில் பார்த்திங்கன்னா உங்களுக்கு அந்த புக்கில் இருக்க எல்லா சாப்டர்ஸும் பேசிக் கான்செப்ட்ஸோட எக்ஸசைஸ் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் எல்லாத்துக்குமான எக்ஸ்ப்ளனேஷன் உங்களுக்கு கிடைக்கும் ஸோ இந்த சேனலை நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அது உங்களுக்கு பயனுள்ளதாக இருக்குன்ற நம்பிக்கையில் இதை ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் ஆர் யூ ரெடி லெட் அஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் த கிளாஸ் relations and functions before getting into the chapter we have to know the basic concepts of set language which you have learned in ninth standard all of you know what is set law set is a well defined distinct object example for sets we can take the set a as set of all color that is red blue yellow and then another set b is x y z like this we can do many examples listing out the elements within the set phrase and the set always should be named with the english alphabet from a to z any alphabet you can use for naming the set okay after this we saw the types of sets last time what are the types what are the types finite set that is if the set has finite number of complex that is we can do can able to count the number of elements within the set then it is to be finite set for example here the set has three elements so the number of elements in the set is three it is countable so it is a finite set and then infinite set if the set has uncountable number of elements then we can say it is a infinite set for an example 1 2 3 6 etc this is nothing but a set of all natural numbers which is not countable so it is said to be infinite set and then the next one is simultan set simultan set is nothing but if the set has only one element single element then it is said to be simultan set then empty set is em- empty set is nothing but if the set has no elements that is the number of elements in the set is zero then it is said to be empty set for an example if you take set a it talks about the colors So here in set A we are having only few colors, that is three colors we are having. But universal set, universal set, we can take the universal set for set A as set of all, all colors. All the colors we can list out here. Blue, red, they know like that. All the colors we can list out. So universal set involves all the elements which are in discussion in set A. Like that here, B is three alphabets we are having in B set, that is X, Y, Z. So here the universal set contains all the alphabets, English alphabets, that is small letters. And then here 1, 2, 3, it is itself a bigger set. So we can take it as universal set here. So this is our universal set. And next one is, we saw about the operations on set. Now let's see the operations on sets. Taking the set A as set of all 1, 2, 3, 3, and B as set of all 3, 4, 5. Take the universal set as u is equal to the numbers, the natural numbers from 1 to 10. The first operation we are going to say is union, nothing but the set union of A and B can be denoted as A union B. And we have to write all the elements of A and also B. If repeated is there, we have to enter it only once. And then A intersection B. A intersection B is nothing but the common elements. Here see, three is common in both. So A intersection B is only three. And then A minus B is nothing but subtracting the set B from A. That is, if you cancel these elements and then take the remaining elements of A, it gives you A minus B. 
and if you want b minus a, we have to subtract the set a from set p, then the remaining elements of b is 4 and 5. And set complementation, the next one is set complementation, it is denoted as a and in the power we can write c or a dash. Usually we will use the school a dash. So a dash is nothing but universal set minus a. Okay. So universal set minus a means we have to subtract the set a from the universal set. So a contains 1, 2, 3. The remaining set, the remaining elements in the universal set are 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is a dash. If you want b dash, then you will write 2 minus a b. 2 minus b. I think that we have to subtract b from the universal set. So we have to cancel 3, 4, 5, the remaining elements of 1, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so this is complementation. And now if you take in words, the union of two sets is nothing but, suppose we take a union, the elements of a union be present either in a or in b or in both. And a intersection b, the elements of a intersection b present in both, in both the sets, a as well as b. And a minus b means nothing but the elements of a minus b is present only in a and the elements of b minus a present only in b. And then a complementation is nothing but except a. The elements which are not in a will be in a dash. Okay, so these are the set operations we saw last year. And then after this we learned the properties of the operations on set. Nothing but first operation is commutative property. That is the commutative property is A union B is equal to B union B. Okay, that is nothing but if you take B union A also, you will get the same answer. And then A intersection B, that is also what? Commutative. B intersection A, both are equal. But here if you see A minus B and B minus A, they are not equal. See here? A minus B is 1, 2 and B minus A is 4, 5. So, set difference is not commutative, but set union and set intersection both are commutative. And then you saw the associative property. Associative is nothing but A union B union C is equal to A union B union C. That is interchanging the brackets to get the same result. And then distributive property. Distributive of union over intersection. A union B intersection A union C. This is distributive property of union over intersection. And the next one is distributive property of intersection over union. And this is A intersection B union A intersection C. These are the things we learned last year in the set of next let's see about the divergence law. That is divergence law having four formula. Regarding set difference, you are having two, and regarding complementation, you are having two. Regarding set difference, this is nothing but bar, that is, here a minus b, we learn the set difference now, this also can be written as a bar b. And b minus a, you can write as b bar a. So, this is nothing but set difference only. Okay. So, a bar b union c is equal to a bar b intersection a bar c. That is, the union means we have to use it. And then A bar B intersection C is nothing but A bar B union A bar C. Here you are having intersection, but here we have to use union. So these two are regarding set difference. And then regarding commutation, you are having two more formula. They are A union B the whole dash is equal to A dash intersection B dash. Here also the signs of change. Union here and here intersection. And the fourth one is A intersection B the whole dash is a dash union, B dash. Here also, here intersection and here union. These are the four formula you have learned based on the modern law. And then after this, 
We have learned the application problems. That is how to use the set language in day to day life. Nothing but in day to day life, we use the set language to categorize the things like a set of students in your class and set of objects in your school bag and set of people in your home and set of things in your home like that. So, this set language leads to the concept of relations and functions. The next level of set language is relations and functions. And this set language is developed by the German mathematician George Cantor. Later, another German mathematician Leibniz developed this concept relations and functions. Uh, now we finish the review of set language. In the next part, we can start with relations and functions. இந்த வீடியோ உங்களுக்கு பிடிச்சிருந்ததுன்னா லைக் பண்ணுங்கள் ஷேர் பண்ணுங்கள் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்கள் மறக்காமல் நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன் பெல்லில் கிளிக் பண்ணிவிடுங்க அப்போ தான் உங்களுக்கு ஃபர்தர் கிளாஸஸ்க்கான நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன் கிடைக்கும் ஏதாவது டவுட்ஸ் இருந்ததுன்னா கமெண்ட் செக்ஷனில் போட்டிங்கன்னா உங்களுக்கு அதுக்காக தனியாக டவுட் கிளியரன்ஸ் கிளாஸ் எடுத்துருங்க அண்ட் தென் தேங்க்யூ மை டியர